right, let's build a Zentradi fleet, guys. So these are all one 20,000 scale Macross. Um, these are the Zentradi ships from Macross. So supposedly they're all in scale with each other, but you know, whatever. So here is uh, the standard battleship, which I, I think is probably my favorite. This is the, the landing ship. Like the troop carrier and such. And uh, this is Britai's flagship. Now they, they all have like, uh, there's no Thurvel Salon. This is the new Pichet Vernizes. <laughs> okay. And then a whole string of Roman noodle numerals there just for decoration. Okay. If you say so. And the Quiltra Quillul. And so I do not have. There was one more in the series. They had Kamjin's flagship. All right, and uh, I just didn't get that. And that's the one that had like the 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 nose that would like you know shoot out, and there's like a little uh, uh, miniature ship. It would uh, separate. Um, I don't know. I just never got around to that one, and I guess I just didn't care for the design so much. And I just I just got these three. I never got the other one. So anyhow, these are very simplistic kits. Very, very simple. Let's just look at this one first here. Let me move this down here. Uh, Re-angle this. Okay. Now, I've already taken the parts off a long time ago. I'm just doing just a little dry fits. So, this is this kit here. Alright, so it's got just a little uh, peg here for the stand. And... So you got like this little equator that goes around, this little trench, side trench that goes around. And there are little parts for the engines. Oh, here it is. So, like uh, for example here. Uh, I think that goes in like so. And then this goes in here, I believe. And then they get sandwiched in. Like, like so. Well, you know what? I'm actually I'm not sure how that goes. Uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to look at the frickin' instructions, right? I'm silly. So, all right. So then, yeah, these are the engines here. It goes in the back. These little gun turrets and such. Now the the decals are pretty much crap, unfortunately. So we got those Entrati uh, language, and you don't even see this stuff in the show. But I mean, I might try to put this on. They got the, these red stripes here. You know, I could maybe try to attempt that with just painting. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see how frail the 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 decals go. But yeah, like these little spines that stick out of the ship here. And then uh, I don't know what that's about there. But uh, they're little. Uh, I think little parts that kind of stick out and attach to. I guess that's, that's what that's about. Hmm. Well, there you go. So, I don't know. I mean, it might be better just, um, you know, attach it here to just hand paint the engines or something. Uh, I don't know. So, here's this one. Yeah, knock this part out here. I don't want to lose it. Just get an idea with how they are in skill with each other. This one's really cool. I think this is the first one I bought. So again, and the, the decals are <laughs> maybe not usable, I don't know. But uh, again, here we go. Pretty simplistic. However, 
However, detail gets a bit soft on the sides, and I'm not happy about that. The detail is okay on the top, but they don't have uh, the the slide molding, right? This is these are model kits from like the early 80s, right? 1982, 83 or so. So I might have to end up scribing a whole bunch of this stuff here, and then. I guess this goes in here like so. I don't know. Yeah. Now there is a top and a bottom to take note of, apparently. So it goes like so. Okay, and then there's like these little uh, pods that stick on the side here, and then some uh, little drive, warp drive or whatever thing is pods here, and so this is just gonna have to be handled with a bunch of uh, sanding here. Let me make sure this can be just inserted in here. Yeah. All right. It's just unfortunately, it's just kind of moves around here. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what's going on with that. No, sir, I don't like it. Now, yeah, how am I supposed to handle that? That's weird, man. I guess just because uh, there's no locator tab or anything, it just just fits in there somehow. All right. Well, this, so there's that one. Now, uh, th there's no way this is uh, in scale with the others, uh, as you'll see here. I mean, this is supposed to be like gigantically jibongous, right? Oh, and by the way, each of these kits have uh, macros to put it into scale with your kit here. And they each come with that macros, right? The STF-1. So, yeah, as you can see, like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty darn sure, this is supposed to completely dwarf this other ship, but it does not, this needs to be like, I don't know, I would say like this much longer, I, I, I guess, I don't know. Um, this is, as you may note, this is a different color of green, and... Yeah, and then what's going on here? I think, um, oh, uh, yeah. So it's got like this uh, upper and lower deck thing that goes on here, and then there's this uh, that fits in inside, like so. All right. Okay, so it kind of kind of goes like this. And then just sandwiches the parts here. So, I guess I can start with just basic construction here. And uh, just see what happens. Well, let's, uh, let's start with the easy one first. And by that, I mean this guy here. Okay, let me get my nippers here. Got one more. This is uh, part 14. Yeah. So part 14 goes into here like so, right? Yep, that seems to be how it goes. Now 
Now I could try painting these separate, but then I'd have to like mask them off. And yeah, see, I don't know if I'm if I want to do that or not. But that's how that goes, and it just seems like it's not tall enough. Like this needs to fill in here a little bit more. Like so. Now let's just uh, see if this is even possible to insert into. Like for example, if I wanted to do this, paint it separately, let's see if this even goes inside. I need something thinner. Okay, so the, by the nature of its uh, shape, it's kind of tapered, so that's not going to fit. In which case, I might be better off. Just gluing them into position. Alright, so let me... Uh, let me get my crap here. There we go. Oh no! Gyrus, your thing is deteriorating. I'm not happy about that. Oh no, I need to do something about that. Oh my golly. This is just getting grody. Grody to the max. It's nice, there's like this little non-slip thing, but it is uh, it's getting some direct sunlight or something, and I'm not happy about that. So, I'm going to... Shazbot, tell you what. I don't want to get this sticky crap on my my lovely uh, cutting mat, so I'm just going to put it down on this for the time being. Because he, he made this really lovely uh, uh, glue holder here for me. Okay. Alright, let's get back to the build here, sorry. Okay, perhaps if I hold this into place... It would be nice if there was locator tabs, you know, but, you know, whatever. This kit is 40 years old now, right? Can't believe it. I think we didn't get Robotech until like maybe 85, I think, when I was a kid. I, I can't remember. I think it was maybe 85. No. So you gotta be careful. You want it to not be crooked, right? That would not be good. There. Now, let's just do a test fit to see how that looks, guys. That is better. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, cool. Let's get this next piece into position here. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's see how that looks. I think it's great. And we got this thingy. Somebody accidentally uh, beeped their horn, I guess. Okay, so I guess this goes all the way in the back here. And the, it says the curved side goes up, and that would make sense because this is curved and that's not, right? Right. 
Okay. And I'm going to use the regular cement for this. Okay. Uh, it's so floppy, man. That's just weird. And it, it kind of slides back and forth here, too. This is not well engineered, I'm afraid. Ka 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 ka. Alright. So we got uh, parts 15. Got two of these, actually. Yeah, four, yeah. Fifteen, all right, got lots of these guys, actually. Where are my cutters? Here we go. these dirty. I'm going to use my regular <sighs> tweezers or pin sets or whatever. Okay, so yes, there are these and it also says there's something else here. Parts 11 and 10 go together. Here they are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's that. And then there's this. Isn't that nice? And I need to cut this off. There we go. Okay, great. Maybe no sanding is necessary here. Okay. Going to carefully lay this down onto here. Like so. At least there's a locator tab here. And then, apparently, this fits. Yeah. This fits over here. Oh, that's how it goes. That is how it goes. All I need to do is just touch a bit of glue here. There. There we go. Cool. Right, I'm going to attach these guys here next. Like so. There, and then I'll just uh, zap it with uh, the thin cement. All right. Cool. Yeah. Ah, crapatronic, man. Just stick on there. No! No! You donkey lips. Tarn. 
donkey crap. Cereal. Golly. I've got to figure out what the problem is here. So... There's this little lip here that is interfering with the fit. So... What I'm gonna do is just put this here, like so. I'm gonna use my marker here. And it's not drawing on there for some reason. Come on already, what the hell? All right, so that worked. <laughs> Weird. All right. And let me just see if this will work here. Just kind of barely cut, like a little small cut. I might have to go deeper if necessary. Um, and I think I shall. Hmm. Yeah, just a bit of a fit issue. I also had to use my pin vise and I opened up the hole a little bit more. Oh! I think this is gonna fit, guys. This seems to wanna fit. Okay, so this is a two millimeter pin vise. Gonna open up the hole a little bit better. Now let's put this in. And it fits. This fits. However, I still need to shave off a little bit more here, though. Hmm. Well, those uh, alien invaders don't really know how to design a starship very well, do they? Right? There. Alright, I'll have to do the same for the other side. this up here, top and bottom here, I'm going to have to file that gate down obviously, okay, and then I'm pretty much done here, I guess, All right? So these details, they don't really quite line up, unfortunately. That's just, um, just kind of how the cookie crumbles. Wow, I don't think I've ever said that in my whole life. And I just said cookie crumbles. I've never used that stupid idiomatic expression ever. And I think that was a first in my entire life, I think. Maybe, maybe not, but we'll, do, we'll just say it was. And, and it just makes this, this uh, stupid video that you're watching even more historic. Isn't that great? There we go. Alright. So there is this uh, part here, but uh, this is going to be red and then this kind of fits on there. So it'll be advantageous if I do not glue that just yet. I'm going to leave that alone.
but see this is why I suck and then uh, this I'm just gonna clamp this put the clamps on them there we go there we go all right so for the landing ship all right this is the ship that uh, comes down and releases the battle pods and all that just got this top and bottom this is like super easy actually so easy, in fact, I think. I'm just gonna use the, the thicker glue. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. Is that, oh no, it's supposed to be like that, never mind. That's good to go. easy. Alright, accept it. Um, hold on, let me get this out. I think I've already uh, set this guy in. Yeah, this is all done. I am going to put this in my vise. I keep forgetting I have this thing. This is a lot easier than using those, uh, those clamps, because this is... Um, it holds it in place. It's more it's more gentle as well. Come on. Just tighten that down. And there we go. Just make sure this is going to you know, we don't want a freaking uh, equator <sighs> seam line going through the middle here. That would not be good at all. Okay. There. Now let me go ahead and Hit this with uh, thin glue as well. So, yeah, just the way that this kit here is made, it's just kind of unfortunate that the, you're not going to get any uh, panel lines on the sides. So that means I'm probably going to scribe panel lines. Use the box picture as reference. There. So these pods on the side, they're going to have to be filed on the sides one by one. Just to pop all these guys off the runner here. And for the remaining of the runner, we got these, um, I don't know what you'd call them, it's these uh, spines, right? There's lots of spines on these uh, Zentradi ships. And this runner is gone. Yeah, these can be painted. Um, I, I, might, uh, I might go ahead and remove those later. So in the, anyhow, in the meantime, this glue has had enough time to set. Okay. Now, these really long ones here. How do these go, actually? They... Oh, they fit on here. Okay, do they uh, slide into place like so? Okay. All right, I see how that works. All right, there's like that little uh, guide here. That's how that goes. There we go. Oh, bonkers. Wait a second. 
I need to remove that. Glue doesn't go here. Yeah, no glue there. <laughs> bad, bad glue. All right. So this fits in here like so. Hold on a second. There we go. All right, let's do this again. Well, I might have to putty that in. I just foresee that uh, it's not really gonna look very good. I'll have to putty that in, it looks like. But anyhow, in the meantime, so that goes down like so. Now we've got these little guys here. There's a little detail. I will hopefully use this, maybe? This might... I guess that's gonna fit. I mean, like, what the hell? Alright, I guess that fits. And then... Oh, screw it. Just do it like this, I guess. Get my fingers involved. There. I'll do the same for the other side. So these parts here are kind of weird, but you just kind of... Oops. Guess it just fits like so. I mean... There you go. Just to get this with the glue. Okay. There. This fits on here like the other piece just did. I hope. I hope. Yeah. All right, great. Great. There we go. Cool. Now there's a the part here that fits onto the nose of the ship, like so, but this is going to be like a different color, so I'm just going to hold off on that piece for now. Now one more thing, and then of course these, uh, these spines will be painted separately and then attached, because I don't want to lose them, I don't want them to break off. These parts here fit on top of this raised detail. Right, there's that little uh, locator bar there. And that just, uh, how does this go? How does this go? Oh, you know what? Gotta cut that off there. Yeah, I hope these decals work, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up, I guess. Psh. They look pretty far gone. Uh, Alright, I guess... It is difficult to find a... Get a feel for how this works. Anyhow... There. There. There we go.
You know what? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, I got it right. Whew. I thought I had to put these on the wrong, wrong end there for a second. I guess I... never mind. parts are done. So this is the main shape of this guy. Um, major construction is now done on this one. So for a Britai ship, these parts go in rather easily. So let me just double check here. This is the bottom, right? Yeah. Let's see how this one fits. Just make sure I don't have these these reversed or anything. They work okay. Yeah. Pretty much the same, I think. I don't know. Number nine. This just fits either or, I guess. There's no up or down to it, is there? Let me see here. Hmm. So that doesn't really fit. But that does. This, this fits alright, I suppose. Because this doesn't really fit. Okay. All right. I think. I I I I think. Actually, no. I think it's supposed to go that way. Looks like it's straighter that way. Well, this isn't. Isn't this just confusing? Well, hold on here. Um. Quick, where are the part numbers here? Supposed to, one is supposed to be C blue. Huh. All right, I've got this figured out now. I, I really do. What I should have done, if I had a brain back at the time, I, what I should have done is just uh, written the part number on the back. But I, uh, I did not do that. Thus the confusion. So the ones with the two little bumps goes on the top here. Good thing I stopped to think about this before I let the glue harden. Because that would not be good. Okay, I'll do the same for here. Oh, you know what? It's already in place, so I don't need to take it out. Ha ha ha. Just uh, glue this into place and I'm done. Well, I'm thinking I might, if I do the engines a different color, I think I might just hand paint them. I'm just uh, guessing that might be a better way to go. Because... Otherwise, I don't know. It might be kind of difficult, you know. Well, let me, um... Run the glue in here. Put this into place. Okay. Alright.
keeping going on here. <laughs> Snappity snap snap. There we go. Get these two top halves, or the top and bottom have to cooperate with each other. Maybe easier said than done actually, I don't know. Is this even uh, aligned properly? Yeah? I guess so. No, I just uh, just glue this all the way around. Okay, there's uh, some sort of array, some dorsal array, or no, not dorsal. Dorsal is on top, right? Ah, oh, shoot, I'm losing my English. Whatever the opposite of dorsal is. There's this thing on the bottom here. There. I'm not going to attach it just yet. It's best if I just leave it off for now. But I do want to make sure this is going to be... Well, shit. Do I got this right? I thought I did. Um... Yeah. I believe so. Yeah, that's how it goes. I guess that's about it for now. I, I suppose I could attach these guys here. And then I'll be done with the main assembly. And then... Uh, Uh, spines can be painted separately, and then I'm done with the furniture.